Hey guys, so what are the top stocks that you need to know that you guys requested via social media? Check this video out. Hi everyone, this is Marvin Germo. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, smash that bell so you get updated for all of the latest stock updates that I've been producing. The heart and the goal of this is to help you to teach you that you can trade and win in the markets. Hey guys, so this video is all about the top stocks that you requested via social media from everything that you've sent out via Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, everything we tally it and we talk about it. So comment below if there's any of the stocks that you wanted to buy based on the analysis as well. Please remember the picks that are here, those are not stock picks, those are just requests. Your goal here is to analyze the charts while I start doing them and you get to decide whether there's a buy or a sell or an avoid signal based on what we talked about. The goal here is not for you to buy based on what I say, but the goal of this is for you to buy based on the analysis that you have picked as well. So enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, so we're back again for another stocks by request. These are the top stocks that you guys requested via social media. The heart and the goal of this, please remember, is never to give you stock picks. But the heart and the goal of this is to help you analyze, help you look at the charts, help you look at the stock from the lens of technical analysis. Because I really believe technical analysis is the game. The way for you to make money off the markets is to remove as much emotions as possible. And the way for you to trade with confidence is to use technical analysis, to use the charts, to use what you can see, to be able to decide, to be able to trade, to be able to not guess. Because at the end of the day, you will lose money if you speculate you will lose money if you rely on your friend you will lose money if you just try to guess and forecast the name of the game is not for you to forecast but the name of the game is for you to look at things to decide on things based on what the charts are telling you as well so let's let's start with the index first let's start with the PSEI to give those who are invested in index funds those who are invested in mutual funds those who are following the broad market in general or at least investing in FMETF to have a sense of where the market is headed as you can see no uh, the whole context of this is you can see we're still ranging at the end of the day we are still pretty much ranging we still haven't uh, we haven't gotten out of that sideways range as what we've been uh, moving over the past over the past few months and even if you stretch it forward we've been ranging for a stretch period of time as well that's why at the end of the day you need to know what your battle plan is when the market is ranging you need to know what your battle plan is when the market is not going anywhere you need to know what your battle plan is where you're supposed to buy where you're supposed to sell or if you're an investor you need to have a narrative on what you're supposed to do because if you don't have that narrative it's so easy to get swayed it's so easy to rely on your emotions you need to find whatever strategy you are having to make your money work hard for you that being said the market is still sideways and one of the reasons why uh intraday no it's October 15, it's lunchtime while I'm doing this video. The market is down today. One of the reasons why it's down today, if you notice it, it's trying. The PSE yesterday tried to pierce again uh, the 200-day moving average, as you've noticed it also. It's the, it's tried to do it already for the past few days. I'll try to zoom in so you see it better. But as you notice, uh, it did that from the from the mid portion of September to the 3rd week of September. From here, uh, you see the PSEI tried to at least somehow have a semblance of breaking this particular area they tried to do it yesterday uh but today intraday the market is down pretty much because there's a resistance at that at that area so what will happen next i don't know my goal is not to guess my goal is not to speculate but my goal is to just basically see the charts for what it is so a couple of things i do know is is that there's also a support range at the 7525 level what does that mean if the if it really does not break out from this area the, the possible narrative is you can see it retrace and you can see it go back to the support level so if that happens you have a support at 7.5 levels you have a resistance at 7.9 levels bounce from the 7.5 levels would be another area for you to actually buy so for those who bought from this area uh, you, you have a 5.4% gain. It's not really a it's not really a very, very, very large spread. But for those who like this and part of, um, that's part of your narrative, that could be still your trading range as well. W why am I saying this? If it breaks out of 7911 uh, from where it was yesterday, possible target price is 8150, 8147 for the short 
term. Now, uh, I want to talk about AGI because AGI also had the massive had the better move today. You know, it's one of the uh, stocks that have larger uh, that have a larger movement up. And with volume, please remember I'm a big fan of volume because volume predicates and dictates everything that will possibly happen. So if I'll draw my support and resistance here, I have a resistance here, I'll put another one here, then I'll put another one here, then I'll put another one somewhere around here. So that being said, if you're going to play AGI, possible narrative for AGI is that one of the reasons why it's up, and we're not guessing here, we're not speculating here, but one of the reasons why it's up is because there's a support level at the 10.25 range. What does that mean? The bounce from this range will just bring the stock up to around 12.9. Failure to break that range will make the stock retrace down and go lower. So that being said, this particular spread is around a 26.4% trade. So for those who saw this, for those who were able to identify the 10.24 10.25 is support level you may peg your resistances at 12.8 pesos per share so what does that mean failure to break out of 12.8 results in a take profit signal for all of you guys uh should it break out from the 12.8 range then it now has a chance to attack the main resistance level which is at or the 12.40 14.33 range which this is now a 40 per 40.2 percent spread not not a very very bad spread right so that's the goal now we just see it we just trade it based on what we can see we just trade it based on what the charts are telling us as well another stock that's highly connected to all of this is mega world please remember i made a video about mega world why there were sell signals from it one of the reasons why there were sell signals from it was all of the news that the pogo industry is gonna uh is gonna close down but somehow Mega World now started to form a support at the 4.35 level. And you see also MACD showing us that there's a really a change in direction happening. So for those who attended our Stock Smart sessions, you know what this combination means. You know also what's a possible narrative when, when you see stocks like that. For short-term traders, for quick traders, we have a resistance at the 4.8 level. So why am I saying this? For those who bought at the oversold levels of 4.35, you can set your target price at 4.8, failure to break out from 4.8. It could be a take profit signal for you as well. I repeat, failure to break out from the 4.8 level because there's a short term resistance there uh, would be a take profit signal as well for you. Comment below, guys, if you're learning from this. Comment below, what do you like so far? Do you like Mega World or do you like AGI? What's your trade if you bought Mega World? Comment below if you are still holding it. Comment below if you want to actually sell it as well based on what we are talking about. However, if it breaks out, from 4.8, possible target price will be the 5.35 level. So breakout from 4.8, uh, you can see Mega World start to pu push uh, push up and go to the 5.35 level. Failure to break out from that could be a take profit signal for you as well. So that being said, total gain from that area would be a 22.5% spread. Total gain from that area would be a, a, a relatively handsome spread for you as well. However, unless it breaks out from the 5.4, 5.35 level, you won't really see Mega World start to reverse yet. Mega World's underlying uh, trend is still bearish, even as for those who follow the moving averages. As you notice it, the stock is still below the longer moving averages as well. So the heart, the goal, the technique, the narrative of this is to wait until you see something start to reverse, until you see something start to shift over the short, mid, and long term as well. But for those who picked up, Mega World from the 4.35 level. Congratulations to all of you. So I've been getting a lot of questions. So how do I know this charts? How do I trade these charts? This are basically a school. This is basically a school of thought called technical analysis. For those who want to know how to trade using the charts, I have links in the description. For the remaining sessions that we have for Stock Smart, we have Stock Smart Manila this November 24, Stock Smart Singapore this November 6, and at the end of October we also have Stock Smart Cebu, and I will be having the top 20 stocks for 2020 featuring different traders and investors who i know have different opinions on the market as well so if you want to join just comment below comment stock smart and i'll try to send the link to you as well but you can also see all of the details down in the description below because the heart of all of this aside from youtube aside from the books aside from the seminars you add them all up the heart is just really to educate you so you win so you get to trade the markets with confidence next let's look at dmc 
DMC, same thing. If you notice, DMC is also bouncing, similar to what's happening to AGI, similar to what's happening to Mega World as well. DMC bounced from the 8 peso level. However, it hit the 50 day moving average. That's why there was a selling. Uh, some sort of selling happened uh, yesterday. As you can see, you have the green candle that happened last Friday, and then you have the red candle, boom, that pushed the stock down. So, one, one glimmer of hope is that it's above the 20 day moving average already. That could possibly give you a sense of buying. However, for those who are trend followers, for those who uh, who who follow uptrends, downtrends, and sideways markets, the underlying trend still uh, it's still it's it's still pretty much in a downtrend. It must break out from number one, the 9.5 level, and probably for a stronger bullish and stronger bullish movement needs to break out from the 10.65 resistance level because that's where the 200 day moving average is. So that being said, the narrative today is basically this. If I zoom in, you have a support at eight, you have a resistance somewhere at the nine peso level. Uh, failure to break out from this level will also result in a take profit signal as well. Uh, should it continue its downward movement, it can go back to the eight peso level. If it bounces from the 8 peso level, then again, you have another tradable range. Target price is at 9, breaks out from 9, it could go to 9.7. If it goes to the 9.7 level, it now basically breaks out from the downtrend. It, it needs to break out from 9.7 though to break out of the 100-day uh, moving average. Then, if I'll follow this pro pattern properly, it still needs to go up here and break this to have a better and better chance, a larger semblance that it could possibly go up. Th that being said also, if it breaks past that, uh, the 10.69 level, as you've noticed, there's a resistance here as well. So if it, if you notice a a possible sell-off here, you see a possible retracement. But as long as it bounces off of this, then we are good because it's now forming its lower high. As you all know, uptrends need higher highs and higher lows. Uh, you want you want the uptrend to be filled with selling. How, uh, uh, selling but the selling is not causing it to go lower but it just builds the higher low so that's our trading plan that's our narrative for dmci J guys anyway at this point in time please comment below if there's any other stocks that you guys want me to uh, make for you guys because I want to just build as much content for you as possible just comment them below and then I'll try to make the most votes I'll try to make videos off of that as well next let's look at Metro Bank so for Metro Bank, this is your support. This is your that turned into support, 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 support. Break down, went down. This is now your new support. So possible tradable range for Metro Bank is so resistance is at 70.65, support is at 66. Uh, the tradable range is somehow just around 7%. If you notice it, it's not showing us any momentum because even MACD is confirming that there is really not a very, very, very strong push yet as of this point in time. So, should the stock try to push up in this progression but fail to break out from the 10.65, 70.65 level, it could just possibly go back to 66 and it just oscillates in this fashion. So, your goal is not to anticipate, your goal is not to guess, but what we do know just from the charts is if it does not break out from 70.65 level, it could just move in this sideways fashion. But should it break out, the next possible target will be here. It will try to challenge the 75 peso level. If it breaks past the 75 peso level, it will go to the 77.85 peso level. And that's what's amazing about that for those who love chart patterns. Uh, it will try to form this very, 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 very large rounding bottom should that possibly happen and then if that happens you can draw your resistance here if you draw your resistance there that's a uh, almost a 12 peso range no that's a 18 percent range so if it breaks out super just super imposing target price will be at the 90 peso uh, level for the short term based on this rounding pattern which also coincides to where it broke down from the 200 day moving average see that's why technical analysis is amazing it's math it's numbers it's not guessing it's not speculating but it's you just looking at it from a perspective of what the numbers is comment below if you're learning comment technical analysis if you're loving technical analysis to comment uh come i want to hear your thoughts if you're liking the stocks by request and i've been doing more of this format because i know you guys love this and at the end of the day this is all for you this is me giving back also to uh to you guys because i believe youtube is the game i believe that sharing my thoughts and my ideas via youtube is one of the greatest things that i could ever do because the, the videos in youtube will be forever and it's it's some sort of me also uh i don't know it's just something that 
and 20, 30 years from now, I, I just hope that it will be uh, it will be a, a school of thought also for a lot of people who will try to invest and start uh, in, start into the markets as well. Because at the end of the day, we still have a few Filipinos investing in stocks, and I, I just really want to see more and more Filipinos invest. I just really want to see more and more Filipinos win because I really believe Filipinos do not deserve to be poor. Filipinos deserve to have a better life. People who hustle, people who take the time to win, people who take the time to uh, make something better of their lives deserve to have something better. And this video is, this is never get rich quick. This is never spoon feeding. This is never me giving picks. This is never me giving, uh, but look at this stock and buy it. This is me sharing analysis, but at the end of the day, it will be up to you on whether you should buy or sell the stock. It will be up to you based on your own analysis. Should you proceed, should you go? Because you will only win if you, if you, hustle and take the time to be able to trade the markets with confidence. There was a lot of questions on Fen. Fen already started to move today. Uh, one thing you need to know about Fen is that basically this. It's ranging still. The main tradable range for Fen is 2 peso support level. Resistance will be at the 3 peso level. So the closer you are uh, to the 2 peso range, the closer your possibility and the narrative to bounce. Now, here's the thing. Uh, because of the movement up, uh, because of the disclosure of Ayala coming in, uh, Fen had its move already starting the year. So the stock is already up 240%, uh, predominantly not based on fundamentals, but predominantly based on uh, news-based data that Ayala is coming in. That being said, for those who attended our Stock Smart sessions, you know what happens when markets consolidate, you know what happens, why they consolidate. That being said, it's already consolidating 2 to 3 peso range. Uh, those who bought from 2 set your target prices at 3. Short-term resistances could be pegged at 2.4, 2.54, 2.6, all the way up to 3 pesos per share. So my, my suggestion is this. If you, are, if you are a trader, follow the charts. If you are a position trader, follow the charts still. If you are an investor, I'm not really too sure because we don't know what the fundamentals is yet. And if you know me, I don't buy based on what I don't see. I don't buy based on... Uh, just mergers and acquisitions. I want to see it solid from the numbers. I want to see it solid if the numbers are really backing it up, if the numbers are really supporting it because at the end of the day, that's what matters the most and that's what will trigger you to actually win. That's what will trigger you to actually uh, make you live life at your own terms as well. So next one. CHP, large drop. It's now, re it's now again consolidating as well. 2.3. Uh, 3.3 range, support is at the 2.3 level. If it holds this level and continues to move up, it's a 43 plus percent upside as well. So that's what that's where we stand for CHP. However, if that does not hold, as you all know, CHP has been riddled by a lot of bad news. Uh, possible downside, if it does not hold the 2.3 level, you can see CHP drop to 1.8 peso per share. If 1.8 does not hold, it could drop to 1.6 peso per share as well. Now let's look at SSI. Uh, for SSI, same thing after the breakdown from the 200-day moving average, coupled also by this signal from the MACD, coupled also by this sloping from the 20-day moving average, coupled by uh, the downward cross and all of the moving average being bearish. The stock is still pretty much down. The stock is still, if you draw a trend line, it looks like this. Uh, it's still pretty much on a downtrend. If I'll zoom out, the possible target, the possible area for where it could drop is here. So possible narrative for SSI, if it does not go back from the 2.5 level, you may expect SSI to drop to 2, but there's a shorter support here which will bring it to around the 2.29, 2.30 level as well. So that's where we are. That's where SSI stands. So I hope you guys are learning from all of this. We've talked about SSI, MEG, AGI, DMC, CHP, the Philippine Stock Exchange Index, and so much more. So what did you guys think? Is there any buy signals that have occurred from any of the stocks that we talked about? Is there anything that, from what we've talked about, caused you to have a deeper conviction on what you're supposed to do with the stock? Comment below. I want to hear your thoughts on it. And I want you guys to win as much as you can. And I want you to reach your goals of financial freedom. So links are down below for those who want to grab a copy of my book. Links are down below as well for those who want to join us for the live seminars in Singapore, in Cebu in Davao and in Manila as well. So this is Marvin Germo. At the back is the Twin Towers, the Petronas Twin Towers. Not sure if you see it, but I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.